In this video we will see how to find an angle between 0 and 2 pi radians that is coterminal with a given angle. Coterminal angles are angles in standard position that have the same initial side and the same terminal side and to find a coterminal angle in radians we add or subtract 2 pi as many times as we need. In the first example we will find an angle between 0 and 2 pi radians that is coterminal with the angle of 13 pi over 4 radians. This angle completes more than one full rotation but let's see how do we know that. That is because one full rotation is 2 pi which is the same as 360 degrees. In the fraction above we have the denominator of 4 and if we write 2 pi with the same denominator then the numerator should be 8 pi. As you see 8 pi divided by 4 is 2 pi. Now if we compare these two fractions then we see that this one is larger. And if this angle completes one full rotation then this one completes more than one full rotation. Now to find an angle between 0 and 2 pi radians that is coterminal with the given angle we will subtract 2 pi radians. So we have 13 pi over 4 minus 2 pi. To be able to subtract we have to get the same denominator so let's write 13 pi over 4 minus 2 pi over 1 and we will multiply the second fraction by 4 in the numerator and in the denominator. Then we will have 13 pi over 4 minus 8 pi over 4. 13 minus 8 is 5 so we will have 5 pi over 4. This is an angle between 0 and 2 pi radians that is coterminal with 13 pi over 4. Another method of finding this coterminal angle is to draw the initial angle. For this let's take the initial angle of 13 pi over 4 and write it as a sum of 8 pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4. I chose 8 pi in the first fraction because 8 pi divided by 4 is 2 pi which makes one full rotation. And also 8 pi plus 5 pi has to make 13 pi. We can also write this as 2 pi plus 5 pi over 4. And now we know that we will move counterclockwise and we will complete one full rotation plus another 5 pi over 4. So let's start the rectangular coordinate system and the initial side will be on the positive x axis. From here moving counterclockwise we will complete one full rotation and another 5 pi over 4. And now we can draw the terminal side of the angle. Recall that pi over 4 is 45 degrees but we have 5 pi over 4. This means that here we have 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4 and then 5 pi over 4. Now let's find the coterminal angle. We know that it has to have the same initial side and the same terminal side. Then this is the angle that measures 5 pi over 4. This is an angle between 0 and 2 pi radians and its coterminal with 13 pi over 4. In the second example we will find an angle between 0 and 2 pi radians that is coterminal with the angle of negative 24 pi over 5 radians. And just like in the previous example we will use two methods to do that. So let's write negative 24 pi over 5 and as we see this is a negative angle and completes more than one full rotation. And that is because one full rotation is 2 pi and if we write 2 pi as a fraction with the denominator of 5 as the fraction above then the numerator has to be 
10 pi because 10 pi divided by 5 is 2 pi. Now, if we ignore the negative sign, then 24 pi over 5 is greater than 10 pi over 5. Therefore, this given angle completes more than one full rotation in the clockwise direction. Now, because this is a negative angle, to get a coterminal angle that is between 0 and 2 pi, we will start by adding 2 pi radians. Then we will have negative 24 pi over 5 plus 2 pi. And now let's write 2 pi as a fraction. So we will have 24 pi over 5 plus 2 pi over 1. And to get the same denominator, we will multiply the numerator and the denominator of the second fraction by 5. Then we will get negative 24 pi over 5 plus 10 pi over 5. And this equals to negative 14 pi over 5. So we added 2 pi to the given angle and we still have a negative number. Therefore, we need to add another 2 pi. So we will start with negative 14 pi over 5 and we will add another 2 pi. Here again we need the same denominator. So we will keep the first fraction as 14 pi over 5 and we will write 2 pi as 10 pi over 5. Then negative 14 pi plus 10 pi is negative 4 pi over 5. The result is still negative, so we need to add 2 pi one more time. Then we will have negative 4 pi over 5 plus 2 pi equals negative 4 pi over 5 plus 10 pi over 5. Then negative 4 pi plus 10 pi is 6 pi over 5. So finally we got a positive number and this angle is between 0 and 2 pi radians. As you see for this given angle to find the coterminal angle we had to add 2 pi 3 times. And of course we can write all this as negative 24 pi over 5 plus 3 times 2 pi. And we know that 2 pi is the same as 10 pi over 5 and 10 pi over 5 times 3 will be 30 pi over 5. Then negative 24 pi over 5 plus 30 pi over 5 will give us 6 pi over 5. Now let's see how we can get the same result by drawing the initial angle. Let's write down the angle of negative 24 pi over 5 and let's split it into a sum. And now because we know that one full rotation is 2 pi which we can write as 10 pi over 5 we can write negative 24 pi over 5 as negative 10 pi over 5 minus another 10 pi over 5 and then minus 4 pi over 5. And if we add negative 10 pi and another negative 10 pi and negative 4 pi we will get negative 24 pi. We can also write this as negative 2 pi which is one full rotation and another minus 2 pi and minus 4 pi over 5. We do all this work to make the drawing of the angle easier. So now let's start the rectangular coordinate system and we will start the angle on the positive x-axis and because this is a negative angle we will move clockwise. First let's complete two full rotations. So here we have one full rotation in the clockwise direction and another rotation. 
And now we need another negative 4 pi over 5. If you remember the unit circle, you may not recognize this angle as one of the angles on the unit circle. And to draw this angle, it may be more convenient if we convert it to degrees. To convert 4 pi over 5 to degrees, we will multiply it by 180 degrees over pi radians. Then pi and pi will cancel. And 4 times 180 divided by 5 is 144 degrees. We can also write this as 90 degrees plus another 54 degrees. And again, all this work is just to make the drawing of the angle easier. Then on the graph, going clockwise, we will move 90 degrees and another 54 degrees. And now we can draw the terminal side of this angle. And in radians, what we have from here to here is negative 4 pi over 5. And now let's talk about the coterminal angle. This has to be an angle between 0 and 2 pi radians that has the same initial side and the same terminal side. Here is this angle. And the measure of this angle is 6 pi over 5. And that is because we know that one full rotation is 2 pi, which we can write as 10 pi over 5. And if we subtract 4 pi over 5, then we will get 6 pi over 5. As you see, we got the same result as in the method above, and this angle is coterminal with the given angle of negative 24 pi over 5. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and thank you for watching.